Welcome. <clears throat> it is chess day. We are going to do something different today. By the way, it's like 7.30 in the morning. Uh, I'm pretty awake. I got a decent amount of sleep. So I think that's the key. Make sure you get enough sleep. Uh, seems pretty obvious, but seems like something I always preached as well because it is. But, uh, you know, of course, I'm kind of stupid. Anyways, so we're here early in the morning uh, and we're going to do something different. So normally I train somewhat like a bodybuilder. Um, I'm not really into like one rep maxes. I try to do sets between like 8 to 12 reps. Um, usually around 5 to maybe 9 sets per muscle group. But today, for chest day, I feel like figuring out what my one, not even one, maybe my two rep max is for um, flat bench. I haven't done flat bench since maybe the summer, 2023. So it's probably been like six, seven, eight months. I got a poo so bad right now. It's not just a leg day thing. Uh, I, anyways, I'm gonna go take a dump, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna do flat bench. So I don't uh, recommend doing, finding out your one rep. All right, um, my phone just stopped filming for for some reason. But anyways, I don't recommend you do this unless you train like a power lifter or whatever. But um, I don't train like that. But I am just kind of curious, and I'm like, eh, why not? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna push it too hard. But I do feel good. My body feels all right. My shoulder has been pretty decent lately. So I'm gonna try to figure out what my maybe two, three rep max is. I don't know. Maybe one rep. My, my ego might get the best of me, and I might just go for the one rep max and pray for the best. I'll make sure that I warm up properly. Um, I think the last, cause when I used to do flat bench, I actually used to <clears throat> try to do like a one rep max every week. Um, so I think my one rep max last year was on flat bench 240. I think it was 240. I don't know. I'm hoping to hit 240 again. That would be nice. Um, I might fall short. I might surpass it. Who knows? Since I haven't done flat bench in so long. But uh, kind of fun. We'll see what it's like. Maybe I'll do a little calf work since I didn't do it yesterday. Or maybe I'll just wait until my next leg day. Um, but we'll find out when we get in there. Um, I might not do any side delts today. I've been cutting my workouts short too much lately because I've been on such a time uh, constraint. I've been limiting what I can and can't do because I will do cardio. I only have about an hour and 20 minutes today. So with my cardio, I could say I'll do cardio later, but honestly, I might not. I don't know. Maybe I should just skip cardio. Ah, cardio is a good way for me to warm up. I know there are different thoughts on it about cardio, it like takes away from your gains. You shouldn't do cardio before your workout. You shouldn't do cardio after your workout. You should do your cardio at a completely separate time in the day. I prefer to do cardio before my workout because I see it as a way to warm up my body. I'm not going hard. Uh, honestly, sometimes I go a little too hard, but I'm just trying to get blood flowing through my body. I don't think I'm pre-exhausting myself. I don't think I'm taking away from gains. And if, even if I am taking away from gains, I'm on a cut. So that doesn't bother me. Maybe if I'm on a, I'm on a bulk, that would bother me a little more. Um, but I just think it's better to do cardio than to not do cardio, whether you're on a cut or a bulk. So do your cardio. It's overall just good for you. It's good for your, your health, your heart. Um, I enjoy cardio and I'm all about heart health. 
I believe that getting the blood flow through your body is good. Getting your heart rate up is good. Um, just in general for your life. Um, not just for the gym. You want to do something that kind of helps your quality of life and will help prolong your life. And I believe that cardio is just that. So do your cardio, guys. I don't know what's so hard about it. You don't have to go hard. Go Walk on the treadmill and play some games on your phone. Sit down on a bike, play some games on your phone. You can watch episodes of TV. You can watch some uh, anime if you're into it. You know, Mashal's out right now. Maybe get caught up on Jujutsu Kaisen. Maybe you can watch some of your my favorite animes that for some reason people don't talk about and it bothers me. Trigun. The old school Trigun. I tried watching the new one. I kind of stopped after a couple episodes, but, you know, Trigun. Great anime. The Get Backers. Why does nobody talk about Get Backers? Samurai Champloo. One of the best animes of all time. For some reason, it's not talked about enough. I mean, there's also Berserk. There's so many great animes out there. Samurai 7. It's based on the classic... Seven Samurai. Um, anyways, I got to get in there and I got to take a dump. I will see you soon. Okay. Um, so I looked at the time when I got here. As much as I was preaching about cardio, I was like, oh shit. I don't really have time for, you know, 30 minutes on the bike or whatever. So instead, I went for like a 10 minute jog uh, on a very slight incline. Like, a, what is it? A 2.5? incline and I was just jogging at a four four miles per hour pace I'm getting a phone call but anyways um, so yeah um, I did a quicker warm-up a little more intense than usual and then I did a little bit of shoulder stuff and now after like warm-up sets I did just the bar 25s a plate, a plate plus 25s, and now we're going to see if I can still do two plates. I have no idea where my strength is at, um, so hopefully I can uh, at least get 225 up for at least one, hopefully 50, but just one I'll be happy with. Okay, I got two. I'm gonna try adding five more pounds on there. All right, I forgot to mention yesterday when I was doing uh, RDLs on the Smith machine, my forearms got so sore by the time I did my last set, I actually used the communal wrist straps. I, uh, when I was done, I immediately washed the shit out of my, uh, my wrists because uh, I don't want a stab infection. All right, let's try this out. Clearly, I'm going for one rep max here. Let's add five more pounds. Okay, so if you're, uh, to my understanding, if you're doing this style of training, powerlifting, and you're going for like one rep maxes, make sure you get adequate rest between sets. That's a very good way, aside from, you know, warming up and proper technique, that's a very good way to prevent injury. So proper warm up. Uh, and then make sure I'm waiting probably like three, four minutes between sets. 
um, because I really don't want to injure myself. But anyways, 245, if I can get this up, it's an all-time best for me. It's a PR. So let's see. Pray for me. Okay. Let's add more weight. All right, I wish these safeties could go a little bit lower, but uh, they don't, unfortunately. So I'll just have to accept the fact that I don't get full depth. I stop like maybe half an inch short, but it's okay. I still count it. All right, going for another personal best. Uh, what is this? 255. Ooh. All right, 245 it is. All right, well, failed on 255. I could have tried 250, but the, uh, the 2.5 pounds were on the rack next to me and I was too lazy to switch out the weights. Whatever, it's all good. So I will tell anyone that asks that my personal best is 245. Um, so now we're gonna move on to my more conventional style of training, the one that I normally do. By the way, I will not be doing one rep max for a while. Um, that was just a little ego trip that I was having. Uh, we're going to go back to flies on the pec deck with a slight lean forward. All right. I don't know how many sets we're going to do because I don't know how to count sets when it comes to that style of training I was doing on the flat bench. So I'm going to count it as like one, two sets. So I'll maybe do like four or five sets here. Maybe, maybe I won't. It really, I don't really count sets too much now. I go off of feel. So we'll just see how I feel. Maybe I'll do one set. Probably not. So it has only been a day since I gave my little spiel on style of training and how I should change my style of training to do everything nice and slow. It kinda, I've been doing that kind of with the pec deck unintentionally, but um, I am now going to intentionally do my next set very slow. Um, I might have to drop the weight, but I'm gonna try it out with the 145. But uh, if that doesn't work, <clears throat> my next set will be at 1.30. We'll just have to see how it goes. But really, slow, slow, eccentric, concentric movement. Take your time, time under tension. That's how you grow. It's funny that I would just start doing that since I talked about 
time and attention time and time again. But again, like I said, I'm not too bright. Do as I say, not as I do. Alright, so I'm out of time. I might come back and do side delts later. We'll see. But ooh, that's slow and controlled. Again, I have to implement that into every exercise, even my bench. Just, I might have to lower the weight and just go for slower reps because um, the amount of fatigue that I feel is, uh, is way, way worse right now than it was before with my older training method style but uh, anyways that was the last set i will see you guys in the change room all right all right Ooh, let's just, oh. it smells like poopy in here but it's okay everyone poops all right Let's see what I got going on. You should try flexing, like holding a certain pose. You get lightheaded if you hold it for a little too long, holding your breath, trying to push all the blood to a certain part of your body. <laughs> Other side. <sighs> Just looking in the mirror. I feel a lot of um, blood flow right here. But that's uh, expected because I did a lot of the pec, pec flies. As well as some front delt. But uh, it comes with the territory. When you're doing any kind of bench, you're gonna get some front delt activation. Anyways, so uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna come back to the gym later today to finish up with some delts. So if I cut in a little delt work, it'll be, you know, just before this, it'll be, uh, obviously I'll be in a different outfit, different clothes. Um, it'll be later today. If not, I did not go to the gym, but I hope I do. I hope I go to the gym again later and get a little uh, delt work as well as some cardio because I don't feel like that cardio sufficed. 10 minutes of a jog doesn't do it for me. All right, I will see you guys tomorrow for like uh, leg day. 
See, see, I'm starting to love squats because of the whole feeling I get mm, from squatting to failure. Actually, I, I'm really liking the pack deck. I'm liking everything. Now that I'm doing this different style of training, I feel like I'm actually accomplishing something. I think it feels even better. Before I'd feel good, but I didn't know what I was missing out on. That's why <clears throat> you should try out different methods. Don't be afraid to change, guys. All right, tomorrow, back day. We'll see you then. Goodbye. Look at how stupid my hair looks. Look at that. Look at this. I look like a chia pet. I can't wait for it to finally grow out. All right, that's all I wanted to say.